Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and in this video I want to help you think big and look at 17 startup ideas that can really change the world. If you want to be a million, a millionaire or even a billionaire, these are the types of ideas you should be going for because this is the future, this is what people are looking for now, and these are the ideas that investors are specifically looking for to back because they know there's a huge market for it. They're on the very beginning stages of it, and these ideas will really shape the future and change and change the world in billions of lives. So, the first startup idea I want to talk to you about is artificial intelligence. How can we imitate human thinking, creativity, and complex problem solving with machines? How can you create a computer that solves problems that maybe humans can't? or that maybe would take years of humans um, or years of research and trial and error for humans to do how can we create artificial intelligence that could do it quickly how can we take society and our world to the next level using artificial intelligence number two augmented reality how can we combine technology with the real world using smartphones, you can using headsets, using glasses. How can we feel like we're actually in a video game? Could you imagine playing a, a game like Call of Duty and you actually feel like you're in the war zone? You actually feel like you're holding the weapon? Can you imagine being in some of the most popular video games and actually feeling like you're there? How can you feel like you're a part of movies? How can you feel like you're actually just like watching from a um, across the street as a movie plays out or something like that? How can you take incredible tours around the world without leaving your home? How can you put on a headset or maybe use your phone to transport yourself to where you feel like you're actually taking a tour around Venice or Australia or some of the world's greatest places? without even having to leave your own living room. How can you do things like that using maybe satellites and using different forms of augmented reality, using headsets? There's so many different things we could do with these types of things. Uh, virtual reality, which is kind of very similar, is really starting to get interesting with these VR headsets, but still it's on the very ground floor and if you can come up with something that takes that to the next level, you could really make a huge amount of money from doing it. Number three, Hollywood talent discovery is always important, but how can we discover people that would make great actors, great um, music artists, things like that? How can we discover these types of people better without them having to pack up and move to Los Angeles and wait tables until they can finally get their tryouts. How can we get people that are really talented to be discovered on a platform that's built specifically for that? Now YouTube has really created some uh, great avenues for this but still YouTube is just a generalized place for video content and you have to make something that would be more centered towards Hollywood talent discovery or or something that could sort through videos like on YouTube and find the dis the talent maybe using artificial intelligence or an algorithm how can you do that number four energy always going to be a big deal especially as our populations keep growing and everything around the world especially as climate change seems to be picking up steam and getting more attention from scientists and politicians. Um, how can we make our planet cleaner? How can we power our devices, our homes, our vehicles with better batteries or from solar energy, from wind energy, from the, the waves moving in the ocean, from running water and rivers. How can we harness these things that are always going 24-7 naturally to create better, more powerful homes and batteries and things like that? Number five, we're always looking into robots. Obviously, 
we're getting better and better at creating robots, but how can we create something like you see in the movies, like that can be your own assistant? You can have your own robot butler. You can have your own robot landscaper. You can have your own robot uh, personal trainer. Maybe you can have a robot play ping pong with you, like in this picture. How can we how can we create better robots that can do dangerous human tasks? And maybe put humans out of harm. How can we preserve human lives while accomplishing more using these robots? The possibilities are endless when you can do this. So if you can come up with something like this, by all means, pursue it. Number six, biotech. And I'm talking about things like downloading the human mind so that some of the most influential thinkers of our time never have to be forgotten and can always be um, tapped into for their knowledge. How can we alter genetics for offspring? How can we reverse the effects of aging? How can we create a longer human lifespan? How can we make it to where we feel and stay younger physically for longer periods of time instead of just breaking down by the time we're say 80 years old. Number seven, how can we make programming better? How can we improve this and make it more useful for everyone? How, why does it have to be so complicated to learn all these different programming languages, all these different codes? How can we make something that simplifies programming using maybe templates or algorithms or something that creates some kind of tool, really powerful tool, maybe something on our computers, something on our smartphones that allows us to create things that we want to create without having to take years of education, courses, um, get college degrees in all these types of programming languages. Number eight, how can we better education? Education is really kind of falling behind with the advancement of society and it needs to adapt faster. How can we make it to where people are better educated using technology, using a class experience without having to actually be in a class physically? How can we make it to where we don't have to compromise with different teachers because of the size of the classroom or the attendance. How can we make it to where we can almost project ourselves in a classroom using augmented or virtual reality? How can we uh, learn with others without having to actually pick a college campus to go to and drive to and find apartment living and things like that? We could save so much money and teach people so much better if we could just find ways to do these things. Number nine, how can we better food and water? How can we prevent ourselves from having shortages in the future? How can we um, adapt with the growing population or maybe even climate change to go with it? How can we uh, build better facilities that can turn salt water from the ocean into fresh water? How can we make it to where farming is automated and more um, and, and is much easier to do in parts of the world where usually farming isn't practical? How can we do indoor farming facilities that almost run themselves with their own climates that we artificially produce? How can we do these types of things to keep it to where we'll always have food and water for the entire world? Number 10, how can we change healthcare? How can we take that to the next level? How can we take healthcare to a whole new level by helping people prevent health problems using data and technology? So, healthcare is starting to trend in a different direction now towards prevention. They're trying to help people really keep track of their own health better. People want to be healthy, but a lot of people just don't know how, or they don't have the time to figure it out. So how can we make it to where it's easier for people to take care of themselves and maybe even save money on health care as a result? 11. How can we better transportation? How could we make it to where we live in New York 
and we can visit our family for dinner in Houston, Texas, and still be back home to sleep in our own bed in New York? How can we do something that's even better for more efficient, uh, lightweight transportation? Whether it's for personal or, you know, big crowd use? Or, um, how can we take trains to the next level? How can we, how can we take, uh, personal transportation, like maybe some kind of, um, shoes or boards or something that we can use, some kind of bikes that are better or something. How can we take that to the next level and save time and money on transportation? Number 12, jobs for humans. In the future, this is going to be a huge problem because as technology through robots and artificial intelligence becomes more advanced, who's going to have jobs? How are humans going to survive? Unless the governments of the world start deciding to just give us all allowances every month, we're going to still have to have jobs to get by and feed our families. So what kind of jobs could humans do that robots will probably never be able to do, especially in the next hundred years? So maybe you can be robot repair um, people. Maybe you can do some kind of way for artists to get jobs because art is something that you probably will never see robots do anytime soon. How can you help people become actors? Maybe through talent discovery like I mentioned earlier. Actors are something you can't just plug a robot in to do. Things like this are things only humans can do and with all this technology rising up we're going to need people to repair them. So. Just think of ways you can create jobs for humans that really help in the future. Number 13, how can you take a startup in pharmaceuticals and take that to a whole new level? How can we come up with new drugs that help humans with memory? How can we get rid of Alzheimer's? How can we prevent it? How can we enhance human intelligence? Maybe you've seen the movie or the TV show Limitless where they take a pill and it makes them use their entire brain to its full potential. Maybe you can come up with something that's on a lower scale but helps us just be sharper mentally. How can we come up with better enterprise software? So something like we have Amazon, Microsoft, Adobe, Salesforce, Oracle, some of these big companies that use these types of things. How can we make expensive software cheap? How can we uh, produce software easier and make it to where maybe people can make their own software without having to code and things like that? How can more people use advanced software that usually only the big brands and the richest people have access to? Number 15, how can we do telecommunication better? How can we take something like Skype and make it more futuristic, take it to the next level? How can we make it to where we're actually like in a room with somebody? Maybe you've seen Star Wars where they have those little projections where you can actually almost walk next to people. Or maybe you've seen a concert where they'll, they'll bring an old artist back to life that's been dead for years and then have them perform on a stage. Maybe we can do something with holograms like that. Or maybe we can do something with virtual reality where we put a headset on and we're in the same room as our family without having to travel long distances just to be with them. 16. How can we do financial services better? People are always going to need money and we're always going to need better ways to save and invest it. How can you come up with a better way to do that using technology, using smartphones, using computers, using algorithms, things like that? How can we take financial services to the next level make it easy for people to actually save money that they mean to save without them being tempted or struggling to just keep up with how much they're spending and bringing in. And last but not least, how can we change the internet for the better? The internet is great as it is. I'm definitely not complaining, but how can we make the internet more secure? 
how can we keep people from hacking into our stuff how can we make it to where um, our information is more secure our messages are more secure how can we make it to where we have free communication methods maybe you want to create the global Wi-Fi like someone like Elon Musk wants to do to where everyone in the world can have free Wi-Fi how can we do things like this to make the internet more available and more secure for everyday citizens that use it so if you if you think you got some ideas from this video don't forget to like it and subscribe and so I can you know create more great videos for you like this to help you build a big a business and help you know what trends are um, the most important right now so you can start businesses and improve them to where they can really take off if you want to uh, mention some other business ideas that you think are going to be super important in the future or you just want to let me know what you thought about the video let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you if you want to contact me directly or get more in-depth blog posts on this kind of stuff or get some maybe courses or some tools that you can use to really help you create your business or take it to a new level go to selfmadesuccess.com and other than that I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you had a great day